Hey there. Sorry for the noise. It's really hot up here, so I'm having fans running. Anyway, I was reading an article, and I came along these comments. A person named Bob Clampett, or Clampett, which is almost surely not his name. Bob Clampett makes me think of Beanie and Cecil. Anyway, he goes on to say, well, I'm a part-time faculty member at a local college and one who teaches introductory physical science. Over the years, students have become markedly less and less capable. I honestly have students now who cannot handle how to calculate percentages. I was told that I teach at too high of a level at a performance evaluation. Time to think, dumb things down, I suppose. And the next person goes, I wholeheartedly agree with you. I taught for nearly a decade at a research university and then after not teaching for another decade, returned. The change that had, had occurred within the student population was stunning to me. To make the situation more intolerable, I was told to lower the bar in my teaching expectations. Thus, I have an experience similar to yours. I taught in order to contribute to my field as well as to pinpoint excellent students for my business. I have certainly been educated as to how our business now reacts to students whose applications indicate high GPAs. I will no longer teach. I was teaching third and fourth year students who lacked critical basic skills that should have been learned in K through 12 and that I do not have the time nor desire to teach. There are two separate issues, behavior and education. With the former, unfortunately, respect for students has been transformed into allowing students to believe that all they say and do is righteous. Just like normal teenagers, they have been pushing behavioral boundaries for decades and now jockey for the positions of king and queens on campuses. It is their campus now, not an institution they attend as a customer who has agreed to a student-teacher relationship where the rules of the classroom are set by the teacher and the faculty council. The only way to change... The only way change can be effected is for a period of chaos to ensue while admin and faculty take back the reins of leadership and learn that it's also important to teach the word no. And what this reminds me of is how a lot of this kind of got its start from Dr. Benjamin Spock. And no, I'm not talking about Star Trek either. Benjamin Spock is someone that would basically... I mean, the move away from the, the, the way that we were doing things, which was very, very much based on religion and being overly strict and uh, kind of ridiculous at points. Um, yeah, it, it was good to move away from, from that model, but I think what it got replaced with is worse, actually. But I think... If we can find some sort of a happy medium between those things, maybe we could have something good. But Benjamin Spock would would have uh, the idea. Well, let's let's just teach children that they're special snowflakes. You know, let your children choose what to eat. Don't enact strict nap times or bedtimes. Teach them that even when they lose, they win, and not because they gained something from losing, but because they're special. And because he was. A liberal, and liberals caught on to that sort of thinking about raising kids, our education system started heading towards that same bullshit. I remember it already firmly being in place in many parts of my elementary school years, um, you know, early 80s, but now it's standard, and look what it's doing to us. Unless we do something drastic, I, how are we going to survive this? We, we can't put out several generations of willful idiots and not have it take a serious toll on the country. Okay. These problems start in elementary school. We're not teaching them the things that they need. So let's go to what this article is really about. Come on, take me to the top. All right, so students berate professor who refused to participate in No White's Day of Absence. No White's Day, huh? Just the whole, the whole, <laughs> just, and people can't see, yeah, well, anyway. So this article says, over the past 72 hours, students have taken over a small liberal arts college in Washington State 
and only one adult has tried to stop them. Students at Evergreen State College in Olympia, who filmed their exploits and posted the videos on social media, have occupied and barricaded the library, shouting down anyone who disagrees with them or shows insufficient passion for racial justice. Biology professor Brett... Is it... Is it Weinstein? Vi Weinstein? Feinstein? I don't know was berated by dozens of students outside his classroom Tuesday morning for refusing to participate in an event which white people were invited to leave campus for one day. Now he says police have told him to hold his classes off campus due to safety concerns. Things are out of control at Evergreen. Uh, police told me protesters stopped cars yesterday demanding information about occupants Mr. Weinstein told the Washington Times, They believe I was being sought. It appears that the campus has been under the effective control of protesters since 9.30 a.m. Tuesday. Police are on lockdown, hamstrung by the college administration. Students, staff, and faculty, and faculty are not safe. A spokesperson for the Evergreen Department of Police Services confirmed the agency had been in, in contact with Mr. Weinstein. He said officers would be in touch with the Times, but three subsequent phone calls during business hours were not answered. A college spokesman declined to comment on Mr. Weinstein's situation or any of the other activity on campus. Evergreen student Blake Vincent said he was participating in the protests and was unaware of any searches for Mr. Weinstein's whereabouts. As for Brett being told not to hold classes on campus, I would love to know if, if that's true, said Mr. Vincent, who has been posting videos of the protests to his Facebook account, adding that the professor was never physically threatened. Oh, really? Never? So, so in this case, you know, this, this, it's, it's okay to have these types of threats in person, but if someone disagrees with you on Twitter, it's harassment. Yeah, fuck you. Um... God, what double standards. This pisses me off. Anyway, Mr. Weinstein was confronted outside his classroom Tuesday morning by dozens of students who demanded he apologize or resign for writing an allegedly racist email. He took his, he, his email took issue with a day of absence and day of presence demonstration for which white students, faculty, and staff were asked to leave campus for one day. He wrote, On a college campus, one's right to speak or to be should never be based on skin color. A video of the confrontation captured by Mr. Vincent shows Mr. Weinstein attempting to reason with dozens of students who routinely shout him down, curse at him, and demand his resignation. Yes, this is, this is where we've come to. People who think that they're sno special snowflakes because of our public education system because of, you know, thanks to, to the mindset spread by Dr. You know, Benjamin Spock, we have this shit. Um, so anyway, when the professor tells the students he will listen to them if, if they will listen to him, one student responds, We don't care what terms you want to speak on. This is not about you. We are not speaking on terms of white privilege. This is not a discussion. You have lost that one. Oh, God, these people are, are insane. Another protester asked the professor whether he believes black students in sciences are targeted. After asking for a clarification, Mr. Weinstein says, I do not believe that anybody on our faculty with intent specially targets students of color. And of course, that remark prompts shrieks of outrage. Yeah, this this shit, and and you know, if you don't like this source that I've gotten this from, you can find this in on plenty of other sources. This isn't some sort of a, 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 a f oh, it's well, that's fake news, or that, that's not a good source. Go ahead and look it up somewhere else. You find this story all over the place. There's footage of this all over the place. This is what happened. Okay, this is the insanity that results from what our public education system has become. Okay, uh, we. And, 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 and we can't blame these these students for this. Okay, we blame we need to blame our education system, the parenting that's been around, the false narratives about how to prepare people for the world. Um, <laughs> there's just we need a wake up call. 
and I hope we can get one soon because uh, this shit is fucked up.